Hello, hello, hello. Zach from Composition Critiques here, and welcome to Across the Musical Globe, where we take a look at songs made in foreign countries, regardless of the language barrier. Today, we return to the Philippines, where we analyze the Sun Kiss Lola song, Pasilio, which translates to Isle. Let's explore. Released as a standalone single on October 28, 2022, this song reached number one on both the daily and weekly charts affiliated with Spotify Philippines and broke the record for the biggest single day streams for an OPM song in Spotify history with nearly 600,000 plays a few months ago. It also peaked at number one on a Billboard of Philippines songs chart, making the group the first Filipino band to accomplish this feat. I can understand why, because this may be one of the greatest wedding songs I've ever heard. In the case of the production and instrumentation, this tune immaculately blends jazz and soft rock in order to encapsulate the romantic atmosphere. From Jensen Valoria's passionate pattering on a drum kit to Dunge Crimson's sleek bass lines to the bluesy guitar work of Dan Umbao and Alvin Bino Cerrito. Throughout the verses and choruses, the instrumentalists were pretty tame. But when the bridge hits, they unleashed their fullest potential. Especially Dan, as his wailing electric guitar captured the intention of all listeners, given the fact that it mirrored their feelings of unbridled ecstasy and desire. Also, there's a flawless key change toward the end, but I'll discuss that in a little bit. The vocals on this track proved to be an asset of setting the Amherst tone, as all three singers delicately sing about wanting an everlasting marriage. Bino singing in the verses and pre-choruses is really earnest, and in the choruses, he harmonized with Dan and backing vocalist Laura Luckbane in order to symbolize the blessed union of the bride and groom. Also, remember the key change I was talking about? Well, it turns out that the vocals and instrumentation near the ending represented the couple's celebration of their soon-to-be successful future. As for the lyrics that were written by Bino, they described the overall feelings of getting married, as the first verse dealt with nervousness and unrequited love. Well, the second verse talked about being grateful for letting the romantic relationship evolve. Plus, the chorus repeats the phrase, it's you and you, which stressed the importance of one's partner as their only wish in a world full of uncertainties. However, the only slight gripe I have with this message is that it only focused on the groom's point of view and not the bride's perspective, but that's just me. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. Please make sure to like and share this video, leave a comment, and follow me on this platform. Thank you.